London Waterloo, long-time running champion for busiest station in the United Kingdom. Until this year when the Elizabeth Line made Liverpool Street the most used station, but that's besides the point. With regards to railway travel in London, most people will think of this. Very busy, bustling stations with long, busy trains. But let's go to somewhere else in London that's pretty much the complete opposite end of the spectrum. So after having just gotten off our nine-car Elizabeth Line train, time to get on a three-car Great Western Railway train. Sorry, not three-car, I meant two-car. My bad. So yeah, when I think of London services, I don't really tend to think of two-car diesel trains that are virtually empty. This is very, very cool. So yes, welcome to Great Western Railways, West Ealing to Greenford Branch, London's least used railway line. So the first station on this branch is Drayton Green, which is literally two minutes away from West Ealing. So let's get off. So Drayton Green, the first or second, depending on how you define it, station along the Greenford branch. Nice. So this station, as of this video, is the least used within the whole of Greater London, having about 16,000 passengers in the 2022 to 2023 period. Admittedly though, 16,000 is actually still a fair amount for a least used station in a county. But then again, it is London, so for London standards, it's quite low. Generally, when it comes to like least used stations in London, it's this branch that gets them. It's generally between this station and another station that we will be getting to shortly. Despite the fact we're not actually on the line still, you can actually still hear the fast trains running by West Ealing. Well, not, not specifically West Ealing, but the Great Western Main Line down there because we're still that close to it. Now the service down this line is half hourly and in the time I've been talking to the camera, uh, we've got about 25 minutes left until the next train out of here. But the next station down the line, Castlebar Park, is only about 600 meters away. So we can walk there in the time by the next train going that way comes. So why don't we go ahead and do that? It is still all a very urban area, despite the uh, least usedness of it, but then again, it's London, so that's to be expected. I'm going down all kinds of back streets. <laughs> this is the way to the next station, though, I promise. All right, there it is. Cool. Just down the road. So here we are at Castle Bar Park, or Castle Bar Park, as the locals would call it. Which I must admit, does sound better. It's uh, how you can tell I'm not from round here when I call it that. <laughs> it's just not what I really expect to see. Like, oh my god. Just isn't what I really expect to see here. Like, two car diesel trains and very short platforms in London. I mean, I'm used to it up north, but <laughs> not here. I think you can actually see the next uh, station down here on the line. South Greenford, if you just look down the line there. They're just very close together, all these. So out of the three stations on this branch that are, well, exclusive to this branch and don't interchange with any other stations, Castlebar Park is the most used by a quite significant margin, around 64,000 people in the uh, last year. Which makes sense because it's the furthest from any interchange stations and you've got a fairly dense apartment complex next to it. So I can, th that's, that's my guess as to why it's the most used. But yeah, despite the fact this uh, line gets a half hourly service and I've walked between two stations already, we've still got 10 minutes until the next train northbound from here. 
You can all debate in the comments as to whether I should call it Castle Bar Park or Castle Bar Park. Because Castle, because I'm from the north and we just say Castle. But the locals would call it Castle Bar Park. It's like calling it Bath or Bath. You know, whether the locals call it or what you call it. I don't know. This is Castle Bar Park. So we're going to take this train all the way to Greenford now, which is the other end of the uh, branch line. Um, but we'll double back and go back to South Greenford. Just allows us to get them done faster that way. Yeah, Greenford does look fairly green. Ford. That was actually awful. I'm so sorry. This is a Great Western Railway service to Greenford. I have genuinely not seen more than about five people on one train at once yet. That's the record number so far. There's no one in this carriage at the moment. On behalf of the on-train crew, thank you for travelling with Great Western Railway. We've just come up to level with the other railway lines, and judging by the fourth rail and a lot of cables, I would assume that's where the central line runs. So, Greenford, primarily served by the central line, although you have also got your Greenford to West Ealing shuttle branch Great Western Railway that you can get from here. So speaking of which, let's go ahead and double back to South Greenford. It definitely feels somewhat strange. I'm just in a regular national rail train, but then, like, I'm at a tube station. This is the side. It's, uh, yeah. It's a slightly strange feeling. Anyway, yes, we are not quite finished yet. We've got one station left here on this branch, which is South Greenford. Alrighty, here it is. Two minutes later. Let's get this thing open. Brilliant. So the final station along this branch, South Greenford. So it's usually kind of a competition for least used station in London between here, South Greenford, and Drayton Green. Drayton Green, as I mentioned earlier, got 16,000 passengers in the last year. South Greenford got 20,000, so it's fairly close. So given all of these usage figures, I think it's pretty wise to assume that this is probably the least used line in the whole of Greater London. But yeah, this is just not what I associate with London. It's very oddly quiet. But hey, that's what makes it cool. It's unusual. So yeah, you should definitely come down here, down this line at some point. It's pretty cool. Just this nice little small, not very busy line amongst this very urban city. <laughs> I hope that this video has at least been somewhat interesting. If you did enjoy, a like, comment and subscribe would be... This is a Hush. If you enjoyed, a like, comment and subscribe would all be greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, let me know of any other lines you want me to explore, go around, showcase, anything of that nature. And yes, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. And of course, a huge shout out to my patrons and channel members listed on screen now. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel.